Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Hmm. Praise Master Jesus, King of Glory, Shade of Days. I am that I am. Father, we thank you for another day, O Lord, for in your presence. We give you the praise, we give you the adoration, all the honor. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father. Let your name be glorified, let your name be exalted, O Lord, Father, as we gather here today. Holy Spirit, come and take over in the mighty name of Jesus, because of Nazareth. Hallelujah. God bless you, all my brethren. Uh, what I came to see to say here is the destruction that is going the end time. Our topic of today is the end time destruction. The end time destruction that the enemy is bringing in the body of Christ. You know, I wonder why all oh, the eyes of people are not opening. You know, those spirits that we are allowing the enemy even to deceive us even in this time that you are living that our eyes are supposed to be widely open destruction in the in this i call it end time destruction what i'm saying end time destruction this is the time that we're supposed to be focused on our salvation this is the time we're supposed to be focused by practicing the word of god to read the bible to be more closer to god that the enemy now is bringing destruction of so many unnecessary things you understand you are focusing on somebody that is already dead you are focusing on somebody that is already finished his assignment now instead of focusing in your own as in your own salvation to see if this person made a mistake in this point where am i making mistake then you understand you start focusing checking your life but the enemy is busy to turn our focus out of the word of god to focus on revelation what am i saying that when people we used to die since i was born people were born the, 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 the people who were born will be dying you understand but this end time destruction is too much any saint that you die let me just say any christian that you die somebody need to go to sleep and come back with revelation i so 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 went to hell i so 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 make it to heaven i so 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 everybody that you die any christian that you die somebody need to see the person in in a revelation to see the judgment of that person to see the end of that person the enemy is coming in this way to bring destruction to bring discouragement you understand to bring another doctrine that is not of god everybody is appointed to die once the bible says so and after that the judgment now people become the holy spirit to be in the judgment when god is judging somebody they will be there and they will be there to come and bring the secret things of heaven the secret thing of the judgment of god to come and bring it to say that hey i saw the judgment of so 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 I saw the judgment of so so so. So you were there when they were judging that person until you have to come and bring it openly that eh, it's because of that, it's because of that, it's because of that. Why don't you take time to ask God, say, Father, reveal to me my own that will make you to judge me also. You understand? Instead of bringing destruction, discouragement for those that are still struggling, for those that are still struggling, you know, why do you have to bring that discouragement, that destruction? You know, why do you have to bring that destruction? You don't, when you're going, you are going to sleep, you already come here with the, the mind that, ah, sister so 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 died. <laughs> By the time I'm going to sleep, I will find out where she, she end up. Why don't you have a revelation where Apostle Paul died? In time of the apostle. They were not like this. Even when they say they kill another believer, they, hey, they kill John. Hey, they kill Matthew. Hey, they kill uh, uh, Timothy. They kill this. They kill that. They did not have that distraction. As they killed that one, let me go and sleep. I will see how the judgment of this person was. No. When they kill another disciple, another one, those that remain, they will be interceding for their own, for their strength, God to give them the strength, not to deny them, not to deny him. 
When their time will come, they should be firm, they will be focused. You understand? Total destruction. Hey, we, when somebody die, people forget about the Bible. They, they forgot about winning soul. They will just focus. Ah, so, so, so died. Ah, probably went to hell. Ah, the way I used to say that, so, 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 probably went to hell. You, for, you Distraction. This is another way of backbiting. Because bringing that issue freshly every day, it will not change your current situation. That if you die today, you are going to hell also. He will not change your current situation. Focus on your own. Read the word of God. What is the word of God is telling you? When the children of Israel, when the Moses died, they only know that God stopped Moses from entering the promised land. They did not know what Moses did after. They did not see how Moses repented. They did not even see what happened to the body of Moses. How Satan was challenging the angel of God to, to, to get the body of Moses. They did not know. They carry on with their life. They carry on with the assignment God gave them. They mourn for one month. And after one month, everybody continued where Moses stopped. They did not say that everybody that they did not say, Joshua, eh? hmm. the revelation I had this night, eh? God told me that Moses did not make it. Eh? God had the revelation, eh? the demon, the Satan was fighting to collect the body. Of no, that is destruction. The enemy is bringing that destruction. The moment you focus on that destruction, you are losing focus of your salvation. You are losing focus of your salvation. You only know that this person was doing this, was doing that. The Bible said, God said, God said in the word of God, the Bible said that God said he will have mercy to whom he will have mercy. Even if the person was living an ungodly life, do you know that particular second, the few seconds before he gave up the gods, do you know what was, prayer, what was the prayer of this person? Do you know the last minute grace of this person? Those people, they only knew that the thief on the cross, they were condemned because they steal. They were condemned because they were thieving. But what they did not know, that one of them repented. And when the other, the, 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 the thief on the cross was repenting, the multitude, they were not, most of them, they were not there. The people that accused them of stealing, the people that arrested them, most of them, they were not there. They did not see how Jesus promised this fifth that today, this night, you and me are going to be in paradise. They did not know. They only know that he died in the cross. They condemned them. But they did not know the last minute grace of that thief. You don't know the last minutes of this person. When you are a judging person according to the, 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 the state of what you know about that person, you may be sinning against God by bringing false accusation, by bringing lies, <clears throat> making other people believe you. You don't know. When Joshua died, the Bible said that Zechariah saw the vision of Joshua standing before the Lord, and he was wearing a filthy garment. And God commanded his angel to say that change his garment, even when Satan was placing judge, uh, accusation against Joshua. God had mercy in Joshua. He said, change his garment. Immediately, he rebuked Satan and they changed the garment of Joshua. But the people that did not know what happened, if Zechariah did not know that vision, they would not even know that even Joshua, the high priest, was wearing a filthy garment. That they, she almost, uh, that he almost missed it in the last minute, but the mercy of God saved him. So the person that you're accusing, you think that is in hell. Maybe this person is in heaven. If that is the case, you'll be sinning against God by bringing false accusations, something that you're not sure. You know, eh, when, you think, when you're thinking about something so much, when you are meditating on something so much, you end up having it as a dream. That's why you see the Bible say we should test the spirit. It's not every dream. Some dream is the, our mind. It's the accumulation thing in our mind, in our conscience, that will come as a dream. You think that is revelation. When is not revelation? 
When it's not revelation, we need to test the spirit. Let us avoid the, the end time destruction. Let us avoid unnecessary destruction. You understand? The day I will die now, somebody will need to go and sleep early just to have a dream to see the judgment of Sister Marie. How Sister Marie end up? What the mistake Sister Marie did make her not to enter? God forbid. You understand? Every Christian that you die, there is always somebody that you have a revelation. But in the old time, we are not so. There was no things like that. There were no things like that. This is destruction. It's not even biblical in the first time. But is it written that every time somebody will die, somebody must have a revelation? A, a musician will die, somebody will have a revelation. A pastor will die, somebody will have a revelation. A, 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 a member will die, somebody will have a revelation. Hmm? Is it not destruction? Let us focus on the word of God because it's not revelation that is going to judge us, but the word of God. Revelation is good to edify, to correct, to rebuke us, but it's not the one that will be bringing the distractions. More people now are more focused on the revelation. When somebody dies, somebody is already checking on Facebook, on, on YouTube, to see if somebody has seen the person. This is distraction. If you are on it, come out of it. Come out of it. This is the bondage that the enemy is making so many people to take them out of the way. Because the time you are focusing for somebody, yes, even now, if you know the mistake of this person, how will you change your life? Knowing that you have not yet discovered your own. Is it not enough time? If you really have time to be watching, to be reading a newspaper of somebody, that you have a revelation of somebody that died. Let us have a revelation about the things that will make us to make it heaven. Let us have a revelation about the word of God, about our Lord Jesus Christ. No unnecessary destruction. Do you understand? Let us win so. You have time, win so. You have time, read your word, the word of God. You have time, ask God to, to expose every secret sin. Every secret sin, because God is going to judge us according to the thing that you think only we that know. Yeah. That person that you are, you are having revelation of, yes, maybe it's the secret sin. The things that nobody knew about, yes, you have it in the, the, in the, in the dream, you know. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 2, Romans chapter 2, verse 16, it says, In the day when God shall judge the secret of man by Jesus Christ, according to my gospel, it does not say according to the revelation. It says according to my gospel. Gospel is the word of God. It's the word of God that you're supposed to be sharing. It's the word of God that you're supposed to be preaching. No distraction. Let us avoid the end time distraction. You understand? Somebody die. You're already checking on YouTube if somebody have a revelation about the death of this person. Is it what the disciples were doing? Is it what Jesus said that any time somebody would die, you people should focus to know where the person is? So everybody's uh, uh, judgment is going to be individual. Are you the Holy Spirit now to be supposing things to come, more things, whatever? Let us focus on the word of God. If this person went to hell, do you ever ask God, where are you going to end up with your eternity? Because you have to choose now through your lifestyle. You're always a backbiter. Do you test, test first to know whether that revelation is from God before you start spreading it. Because if what you are saying is not right, it's a deceiving spirit, it's a divination spirit that is using you to prophesy. If that spirit is not of God, you'll be sinning against God. And you're not going to escape the judgment of God, the judgment to come. So let us avoid all those distractions. Let us avoid all those distractions, unnecessary distraction that is going to make many people to pay for it. Let us focus on the word of God. This is the end time. Let us check our life. This is the end time. Let us make, right, make peace with God. This is the end time. Let us 
make sure that our family at least they will get this message of salvation and they'll be saved the people around us they will accept we ourselves will be transformed on that day you understand we'll be transformed on that day it's not by focusing, eh, when you hear like this, you too, without testing the spirit, without confirming, you just, people, 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 you start spreading it, you start sharing it, you be, you be contributing on that person's sin. Let's see what the Bible says in the book of uh, Acts 16, verse 16. Let's say, let's see what the Bible said. He said, and it came to pass, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination. Listen to this. A spirit of divination met us, which brought our, which brought our master much gain by, so, by such saying. 17. The same follow, the same followed Paul and us, and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the most high God, which is so unto us the way of salvation. This damsel did not, did not lie. This girl, he was possessed with divination spirits. Each time you saw Paul and others are entering to, to, to go to a prayer meeting, she'll be screaming. Ah, these are the man of God. These are the, the, the man of God. She'll be screaming. These are the man of God. You know? Those are the man of God that you know that they are bringing salvation, that are showing the way of salvation. But it was not the Spirit of God talking through her. Although what she was saying, it was right. Yeah. Paul was the, 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 the minister of God. He was the man of the Most High God. Yes, he was showing the way of salvation. But it's not the spirit of God that was talking through that. Himself. It was a divination spirit. It was an evil spirit. Verse 18. And, it did, and this did she many days. So every day she was saying it. But it was not evangelizing. She was telling people that these people are from God. They are talking about the way of salvation. But she was not evangelizing for God. It was an evil spirit talking, bringing destruction. Bringing destruction. The destruction was so much, Paul was so upset because of that. Let's read 18. And did, and did, um, and this did she many days, but Paul, being grieved, turned and said unto the spirit, I command thee. In the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her, and he, and he came out of the same hour. You understand the spirit of destruction. What that spirit was saying, it was not saying bad thing. It was just confirming to people that Paul. It was confirming to people that Paul is the servant of the Most High God. Is the man of the Most High God. You understand. It was said, it was confirming that Paul is the servant of the Most High God, and it was confirming that he's talking about the way of salvation, which is not a lie. But because it's not the Spirit of God, it was just bringing destruction, and Paul was so annoyed because of that destruction. He did what he commanded that spirit to leave, and the Bible says immediately the same hour that evil spirit left. If you want to know the full story, that is the reason why he made the master to go, the master of that damsel, because they were making money through that evil spirit. It's the master of that damsel that was annoyed because they cannot gain money anymore through that divination spirit that was div making, uh, we were saying things about people, supposing things about people, seeing revelation about people. You understand? Prophesizing fake prophecy about people. Through the evil spirit, because of that, they went to report Paul and Silas. That is the reason why Paul and Silas was arrested. It was they were arrested in the prison. It's not because they commit sin, because they rebuke that evil spirit. The evil spirit that was bringing destruction in the name of God, in the name of saying the right thing, we should be very careful testing the spirit. Thank God for the discernment spirit in the life of Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul knew that although he's saying what is right, but it's not the spirit of God. 
That's why he rebuked him. He rebuked that spirit. So when you see revelation like this, ask God, Father, what is the purpose of this revelation? What is the benefit of this revelation? Is this revelation from you? Everybody wants to be known that God is true. They see dream, they see revelation. Everybody wants to be known that, yes, God speaks to them. God speaks to everybody. God loves everybody. God encounters everybody. Depends now. It depends on you. How will you accept? How will you discern? How will you pay attention on the voice of God talking to you? God talked to everybody. God revealed himself to everybody through the word of God, through the preaching, through the evangelism, through the track. God is talking. That's why Jesus said, I stand on the door, knocking everybody that you hear my voice. You open, I will come unto him. It's not because you have the revelation that you are right with God or have the vision that you are right with God to rush and come and share with people. No, test first the spirit. No, maybe this is divination spirit that want to deceive other people, want to bring destruction, just like this damsel. He was saying right thing, but it was not the right spirit. He was bringing destruction, because if it was the right spirit, Apostle Paul would not rebook it. He would not command that demon to come out, because that demon was bringing destruction. He was trying to confuse them. Although you are evil spirits, but you want to talk about the right thing, we know that this is a lie. Satan cannot talk about the right thing. Satan cannot evangelize. Satan cannot win his soul to make it to heaven. Destruction. Let us avoid end time destruction. Let us avoid end time destruction. Jesus is coming. We have less time to check of ourselves. We have less time to correct our own mistake is by the grace. Let us not misuse grace. Let us come out of this destruction, end time destruction. Let us focus on our salvation. Work out our salvation with fear and trembling so that on that day, so that on that day, our own secret sin, you will not make us to miss it because you, we all, all of us, we have secret sin. Whether you know it or not, maybe you have not yet discovered it yet, but there is always something that the enemy can use to accuse you with. So this is the time now to be asking, like Jeremiah 33 verse 3 said, Call unto me, I will answer and reveal to you the great and mighty thing that you don't know about yourself. We have done great and mighty thing that the enemy is using to accuse us. Because we have not yet asked God, we don't know, and they are still there. Let us avoid destruction. Let us be like Apostle Paul. This damsel was, think, was thinking that you bring destruction to Paul by saying that oh, these are the servants of the Most High God. They have been telling, uh, they telling uh, 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 show, is showing to us the way of salvation. Imagine a demon saying that they are showing them the way of salvation. We know that demon will not, end, will not be saved. Satan cannot be saved. Demon cannot be saved. But he's saying, bringing destruction by saying that he's here to show us the way of salvation. Who us? Which us? Us with who? You understand. May the Lord help us. Come out of that destruction. The person that died, yeah? Leave that person with God because <laughs> there's nothing you can do with the person. You that is still alive, you are the one now to correct your own because you have to think now if you are the next person. If you are the next to die, how will you appear before him? Jesus said to this woman, to the mothers of uh, Israel, he said, do not weep for me, weep for your children. Weep for your children because if this thing is happening to me, how much more you people? So this is the time when somebody died. Eh, hey, it's dead. You cannot do anything to bring the person back. Whether I make it to heaven or make it to hell. It's not your business. Your business now is to work out your own salvation. Own salvation so that you too, you choose how your eternity will be. Let us avoid destruction. May the Lord bless you. Come out of destruction. Come out of destruction. 
Focus on your own salvation. Focus on your own salvation. The time is coming, is coming that God will judge every secret sin. You don't have time to check your secret sin. You are checking another person's secret sin. Are you wise? Are you among the, the foolish or among the wise? Be among the wise. Come on. Come out of it. Come out of this destruction. Focus on your salvation. Focus on your salvation. Yeah, if that person did not make it to heaven, you have to work hard now for you to make it, your children to make it, your family to make it. Not to, for you to be taking it instead of sharing the word of God, the word of encouragement, the word of salvation, the word of, you understand, you are there, the, uh, uh, taking time. You don't, take, you don't have time to read your Bible, but you have time to read newspaper. You have time to, 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 to listen to distraction for one hour, two hours. But when it comes to prayer, 20 minutes, you are already sleeping. Distraction. Distraction. Come out of end time. This is the end time destruction. The Bible said that many will be deceived and they will come out of the way because of destruction. The enemy will not come outside of the Bible. He will use Bible to twist just one point because he knows that if he, this, this, if he twists it from the beginning, you will give, you, you, you'll be wise enough to discern. He only need to change one word. Only one word. He will change it in a way that, you know, if you are not wise, that very, that small change is enough also to change your name from the book of life to hellfire. May the Lord give us the sun and spirit, especially in the time that we're living. Jesus himself warned us in Matthew 24. He said, even the very elect will be deceived. Even the very, those that think that they are wise, those that they think that they are standing, those that are think that, that they are strong enough in faith, many of them will be deceived. And Satan, you will not come without Bible, you come with the Bible to deceive. He will come as an angel of light to deceive. Satan gave revelation, Satan gave prophecy. That's why you say Jezebel, they call Jezebel prophetess, because she had prophets. And they were prophesied. But the prophecy was not coming from God. It was a divination spirit just like this girl. Look at the, the way. You see, if you have to, pay, to read it, she did not say anything bad. But it was not from God. Anything that is not from God, no matter the intention, no matter how it looks beautiful, it's not from God. It's not from God. It's from Satan. Anything that comes from Satan, we cannot accept it. He said, and it came to pass, as we went to pray, a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination met us, which brought her master much gain by short, by short saying, the same, the same followed Paul and us, and Christ saying, these men are the servant of the most high God, which show into us the way of salvation. A lie. How can Paul show demon the way of salvation? We know that demon they cannot be saved. Evil spirit cannot be saved. He said that he, he, he go which, which show us, which show us the way of salvation. He did not say anything bad. It was encouraging. It's another way of evangelizing. If you have to say it, it's like she was evangelizing. Evangelizing to who? He was telling people, those are the man of God, the man of the most high God. They are there to show us the way of salvation. Listen to what Apostle Paul said. And the destruction was going on in verse 18. And he did, the, he, he did this, um, sorry, and this did she many days. He was doing it many days. Each time they would see them, she had to be cry out, telling people that, look at them. They are the servant of God. They are servant of the Most High. And they are there to show us the way of salvation. If you and I, we have no discerning spirit, we say that, oh, but she was not saying something. Yeah, but it's not the spirit of God who was talking. Now listen what Apostle Paul did. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to, to, the, to the spirit, and he said to the spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And, the, and, and he came out the same hour. So if it was the spirit of God, why did Paul command that spirit to come out of her? That spirit was not saying the, the bad thing. He was, in, he was confirming that Paul is the, is the servant of the most high God. 
And he was, what the, that spirit was saying, it was not a lie. Paul was the servant of the Most High God. And Paul was there to show the way of salvation. That is also right. But because it was not coming from God, it was the spirit of destruction. It was bringing destruction. And Paul was tired of that destruction. He commanded that spirit to go. We too, we have to be tired of destruction of the end time. To command that spirit of destruction to leave us. To focus on the word of God. To focus on the assignment God gave us. Paul rebuked that spirit. He turned. He was so annoyed. He turned. Why was he annoyed? Because he knew that that spirit was bringing destruction to them. That spirit was not there to do the assignment of God. He was there to, to, to make people to come out of the way. That's why he rebuked that spirit. We should come out of that spirit that is bringing destruction, that is making you not to focus on the way of salvation. Not to focus on the word of God. Let us focus on the word of God because the word of God is the one that is going to judge us. God is going to open them. He says here, in the, he says in Roman, uh, in Roman chapter 2 verse 16, he says in the day when God shall judge the secret of men by Jesus Christ according to my gospel. God is going to judge us according, according to his gospel. Let us focus on the gospel of salvation. The gospel that will lead us to heaven. Not the one that will be bringing destruction. Hallelujah. This is the end time. Everything can happen any moment. Jesus said, want us to be very careful. Because that spirit will come in a very perfect way. That you think that is the spirit of God, but it's not. That the Bible said that even the very elect, they will be deceived. But those that will endure to the end, be among those that will endure to the end. Be among all those that will not come out of the way to be like Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul was not carried away with this spirit to say that, yes, we are the servant of the Most High God. Yes, we are here to come to teach the way of salvation. No, 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 no. The discernment spirit is needed in time like this. The discernment spirit is needed in the time like this. It's time that we have to be more wiser than before because we are getting near and the word of God is being fulfilled day by day, day by day. The enemy doesn't want us to focus on the word of God because he knows that we are going to discern who he is and what his plan is. But we are, going, we are not going to fall in the destruction of the enemy. I pray that, you know, God will continue to give us his wisdom, especially in this end time. God to fill us with the spirit of discernment, to focus on our salvation, to think more about heaven, to think more about our relationship with him. You understand? To correct the mistakes that we can find out to discover through the Holy Spirit and to obtain mercy from him, to make sure our name is written in the book of life to try our best more than our best to maintain our name in the book of life may the lord bless you hallelujah i love you too much i love you so much i love god i love you i love myself let us make it to heaven so on that day you and i will rejoice for eternity shalom